in five, four, three, two, one, go. Welcome to this very special edition of V News. Joining me in the studio today is a man who claims he can make money from thin air. Yes, that is right, from thin air, I hear you ask. How does he do that? Well, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. It's something called Bitcoin, then I don't know what it is. And on my desk today, I have two very strategically placed objects that I don't know what they are. Some seems to be some form of Apple. He'll be showing us a live demonstration of how to make this money, what this money is, and what to do with it. So, with me today is Mr. Ash. Ash is playing with Bitcoins. Ash, what is a Bitcoin? All right, so Bitcoin is a form of cryptocurrency. It's What's a cryptocurrency? Well, there's loads of different ways to kind of explain it. My thinking on the subject is kind of like stamp collecting. With, with Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, they're called altcoins and all this kind of stuff. Like you might have heard of Ethereum, all these kind of things. They're a form of um, collectible items. Right now, they're called currency. With currency, it's kind of like something that you spend. But a lot of people are viewing them more as assets, things that you collect and hope in the future they might be worth more. Because the thing is with currency, with currency, there's always inflation. For example, they're always printing out new money. Mm. Whereas with this cryptocurrency stuff, it's a limited quantity amount. So there isn't, you can't just infinitely create um, coins. It's, it's just, there's a limited quantity of it. And people find it valuable for some reason. And the way you make it is you've got to use um, some computer algorithms. And you can do that using a, a computer with ideally a graphics card or some dedicated hardware. And you yourselves at home, you can get in there and you can um, actually generate money out of thin air, basically. How do you do that? Well, I'll, I'll be giving you a demonstration and you can use your, your MacBook and that will use something called the CPU, the Central Processing Unit. And that will go ahead and run these algorithms. And your computer isn't powerful enough to actually generate these coins on its own. So usually you join up with a club, they're called pools. And they're like a little gang of computers and they charge you like a minimal fee and together if you successfully mine a coin they will share out the profits right i see now my sources have advised me that you've been mining for three months now so how much money have you actually made so i haven't actually been mining for three months i got a mac pro recently and uh, i hooked it up with one of these graphics cards this is a radeon 580 and this is one of the best uh, value graphics cards if you can get it I actually got it kind of cheap a few months ago and it's actually gotten up in value because there was um, a big spike in the value of cryptocurrencies with cryptocurrencies they go up and they go down it's very very volatile so more to the point i mean everybody's dying to know how much money have you made all right i'll tell you how much money you can make so right now as of um, things like the, the third of february on this fella using the cp only you're getting about 20 cents a day don't laugh what <laughs> 20 cents a day but the cool thing about it is you're only using an extra 10 watts of power. So depending on your electricity bills and all that kind of stuff, you could be making some, some money. <laughs> what? So, okay, it's not that much money. With this guy, you can make about $3 a day. And with me, I've, I've hooked it up with a, a Mac Pro from 2010. It's just running in the background and that gets about $4 a day. Okay, it's not much money. It's a bit of a laugh. Don't like. I wouldn't seriously be mining to generate money but a lot of people do it because um it's not about the value of the coins today it's more about how much will it be worth potentially in the future for example um bitcoin if you look at it last year it was worth about a thousand dollars whereas right now it's trading at nine thousand dollars which is like 9x over a year so potentially these coins in like 10 20 50 years time if the technology is still viable it might be worth something it's kind of like stamp stamp collecting if you want to make money really some um, invest well it's gambling you could make some good money there i'm not saying you should invest because it is a bit of a gamble but that's where you probably will get most of the money out there just buy the coins and hold on to it and hope that it goes up but if if you're just playing around if you have a computer system like a gaming machine check this out <laughs> this is just for fun i'm gonna put on something called miner gate and i'm just gonna mine some cryptocurrency so i'm gonna do some Bitcoin and I'm going to do some Zcash. Zcash is going to be running on a GPU. We've got about 200 solutions a second 
and Bytecoin is on the CPU, five cores, I'm going to make it six. So all six cores are going to be using it, and it's going about 130 hashes a second. I'm going to go into Batman and see how that copes. Look at that. I found that I can actually be playing games on my computer, and I could be mining in the background, and the games still run fast, and the computer isn't using any more electricity than it would when playing games. I see. Now, some people have said that our homeboy, 50 Cent, is actually a Bitcoin millionaire. How has he managed to do that? Does he have, like, a whole load of computers mining? <laughs> so you, you call that press. No, um, so a few I'm years ago... I'm a news ago, presenter. Of course I did. <laughs> a, few, a few years ago, he sold um, an album, and he allowed people to buy it using Bitcoin. Uh... So from the sales of Bitcoin that he completely forgot about, apparently, he realised that it was worth a couple of million. So, so the reason why the price goes up and down is people are buying and selling. So maybe um, it went up because a lot of people, when it hit the 10,000k mark, that was like a record for it. So a lot of people found, about, found out about it and they started buying it. And then it shot to like 20k. And then everyone realized, oh my God, that's a lot of money. Sell, 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 sell. All the rich people that forgot about their Bitcoin started selling. And now it's gone down to 9k. But it's constantly going up and down. So we'll see how it goes in the next few months. Well, thank you for that, Ash. I have one last pressing question that we're all dying to know is, what does a Bitcoin look like? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's completely virtual. It's, um, you get this um, thing called a wallet, and it's an electronic wallet, and it's just um, a really long address. So it's like A79000, all, all these crazy numbers, and it's actually tied to your computer or the system that's using it. A lot of people use online wallets, so it's kind of like your bank. You, Instead of storing your money at home, you store your money in a bank. Problem with that is these um, online places get hacked a lot. Recently, I think, um, yeah, yesterday, um, some Japanese um, wallet got, got hacked and it was like 400 million wow. got stolen. Yeah. Poor guy, poor guy. And actually, and a lot of these um, online um, wallets, they're, they're dodgy people. So, for example, I had a wallet. I didn't have much Bitcoin in there. But... Um, they just randomly um, changed their passwords on me and I, I tried to get my, my access to my account back but um, they said they wouldn't give it to me. They're, just, they're pretty much just thieves and all that stuff because a lot of, there's a lot of shady people inside this area. So um, yeah, yeah, just be, be, be careful when in there, when we're going in there. But it, it's fun, like it's like your computer is generating this money, you're collecting all these coins, you're collecting all these like stamps, and they might be worth something in the future. And in the end, I'm, I'm hoping I'll show you a video on, on how you can easily do it on your computer. Just say you leave your computer running in the background, you can just be mining some coins. And, and it's kind of cool collecting the coins because it's not just Bitcoin out there. There's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, there's Monero, there's FCN, there's Futurecoin, there's Dogecoin. I think there's a Kanye West had a coin. All these, there's all these kind of like cool, so, so it's pretty much like a, a lot of kids and nerds and all these kind of people are just constantly collecting and buying coins. It's kind of like, um, do you know penny shares? Oh, okay. With the stock market, mm -hmm. there's, there's lots of penny shares. You just buy a couple of penny shares and just hope that it goes up in value. So there's a lot of, lot of coins that are like worth 0 0.0005 USD. And if they go up to like to five cents, you've just made like a thousand X. Actually, I got... Um, I bought I bought this um, random coin. I forget what it was called. XRP. I bought it um, three cents, and it and it went. It shot all the way up to four dollars. Wow. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I wish I bought like loads more. I just I was just like for fun, because they gave me some money for free, so I just spent it. And that you can get these kind of like crazy profits. And I think um you met some other guys that um, they like, they make like fifty k here and there every other months. And the thing you need to know about is um. When you do make money, it's all taxable and all the governments are trying to crack down to get their, their profits and their shares. So it's, um, there's a lot of confusion about how much tax you pay. Some people say that if you do it as a hobby, technically you might not have to pay tax. For example, do you know if you sell stuff on eBay on the side and it's not your business, you might not have to pay tax. Other people say that no, as soon as you make, make a sale, it's immediately charged as a capital gains event. So check with your local accountants, find out what's going on. If you are making money, you're going to get taxed, but 
if you are making money, you're making money, so the tax won't be that bad. Thank you very much for that, Ash. Now, you're going to be showing us a live demonstration here in the studios a bit later on, is that right? Yeah, so there's a couple of applications you can use on Mac and Windows. The thing is, with Mac, I've had a lot of trouble getting the GPU to be recognised. There's a lot. There's, there's like one app called Mac Miner, and that seems to be able to want to do it, but it's, it's very, very complicated. The easiest apps I've used are Minergate and NiceHash. Minergate works on Mac and Windows, however on Mac it only uses the CPU and NiceHash is like the coolest one out there. It did get hacked recently actually, that one got hacked as well but they hopefully when you get hacked you learn your lessons and you improve so a lot of people are trusting them again. With those guys they give you a lot more uh, money for it and the cool thing about both these apps is they actually pay you in cryptocurrency so on NiceHash which is Windows only at the moment it pays you in Bitcoin so you can cash out and they'll charge you like a fee for cashing out there. Everyone's getting their money, but um, hopefully you're hoping that maybe the value of the coin will go up, at least at the rate of inflation or at the very least. So it will be more valuable in the future. And on Minergate, that one's really cool because it pays you in all these old coins. Like for example, I've got, I, me and my brother, we've got loads of bike coins. So we just, you know, that one's worth like 0 0.0005. So if that one moves to a dollar, we're, we're millionaires. <laughs> Wow, wow. Well, our viewers are dying to find out how you're going to make these coins. We're going to cut over to you showing us a live demonstration right here, right now. So stay tuned after this short break. My producer's telling us to get on because we've got another show coming. Thank you very much, Ash. It was lovely to hear, have you in the studio. I look forward to seeing your live demonstration. It's been a pleasure. Thanks again for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And what did you think of uh, Captain N over here being the presenter of the show? <laughs> so the cool thing about her is she doesn't know anything about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So I figured just asking her to ask me some questions might be useful because a lot of people don't know what Bitcoin is. I don't even know what Bitcoin is. I still actually don't understand it really. But, you know, I understand that it's something in the virtual world that can give you money, which is cool. You seem more relaxed now. That's cool. So <laughs> the things with Bitcoin, it's just some shady way for illegal organizations and um, mafia and all that kind of stuff to shift money. Okay. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. Because um, you get a lot of people, because the, the best thing about these cryptocurrency is they're harder to trace than normal bank transfers. Mm. So money can be shifted left, right, and center, getting sent out. So a lot of rich Chinese people, they want to shift money outside of the country without the government cracking down on them. And they use Bitcoin. And in Venezuela, when the inflation was going up like crazy, a lot of people bought Bitcoin. Because the thing is with these countries, it's a lot harder to buy currencies. Like for example, if you want to buy Australian dollars or USD from countries that don't allow you to buy USD or Australian dollars, you're pretty much stuck. So you need to use these background channels. So a lot of these currencies have been used for those kind of means. A lot of been used has, have a lot of these methods have been used for um, selling sex, selling weapons, a lot of dodgy bad things. So you know it actually goes to the question like, is this stuff halal? You know, is it is it is it good for the world? But this is a whole different topic, and we don't have time to cover that today. You know, <laughs> it's, it's actually interesting. It's, it's I mean, I I guess. It depends on how you view it. With money, when money first started cash, a lot of people said that that was used for bad things and eventually knives that could be used for bad things. <laughs> I haven't had any coffee. It's 2 a.m. She's All had right, coffee. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Thank you very much for joining us. I don't usually do this in, in my uh, news presentation, so I'm going to give you a kiss. Thank you.